Hey everybody, Vince August here. It is Thursday, July 16th, and today I want to talk to you about a place that I've always considered home. Even though I grew up 15 minutes outside of it and kind of grew up in the shadow of it, um, I did go to college for four years in the Bronx. I went to law school for three years in Manhattan. I'm lucky enough to work for The Daily Show, so I'm in and out at least four days a week, if not more. Probably done 80% of my performances there. New York City. New York City has always been a very special place to me, and again, to me, it is home. It had, probably has the most diversity of culture when you look at food, restaurants, when you look at sports, when you look at Broadway and theater, music, whatever it is, New York City has it all. It's probably why people from around the country, if not around the world, flock there more than any other place in the United States. Well, it's also something else. It's also the people, the place that people are flocking out of in record numbers. That's right. Here's an article from Forbes in 2019, before the pandemic, so it's got nothing to do with that, showing people are moving out of New York City more than any other city in the country. More than any other city in the country. Now listen, there's a reason why people move out of the city, and some of this has to be on Mike Bloomberg, okay? Because when you do this to the city, you basically price people out of it, other than your Wall Street buddies or your hedge fund buddies, okay? So that's the first issue. But the second issue, you have to look at leadership, okay? And right now, New York City's mayor is failing miserably, and he has to take some of the blame for this. Bill de Blasio right now is running... That's not a picture of Bill de Blasio. Bill de Blasio right now is running New York City into the ground. Okay, and if there's one thing Bill de Blasio knows how to do, and that's point the finger at somebody else and blame somebody else for his problems. That's right, don't you point that finger better than anybody, Bill, look at you. He will let you know any problem in the city is either Andrew Cuomo's fault, President Trump's fault, it is the police's problem, it's, it's everyone's problem but his. He's got nothing to do with the shortcomings of New York City. He doesn't want to address any, listen, even when the issues addressed his own family, remember when his daughter got arrested and there was that famous mugshot he didn't want floating around about? He was more concerned about the optics of this, that's not the picture of his daughter. He was more concerned about the optics of this picture than anything else because that's what Bill de Blasio is about. He's about optics. And if you don't believe me, let me make this point. This week, Bill de Blasio made sure that he took a photo op to show everyone he was painting the Black Lives Matter mural in the street across from Trump Tower. Well, turns out we know one thing that bothers Bill de Blasio, graffiti. And if you live in New York, you're saying graffiti. Are you kidding me? He doesn't care about graffiti. It's all over the place. Look at the rioting and the looting. People were spraying stuff all over the place. He didn't mention it once. Okay, well, not all graffiti. Graffiti that affects his photo op. That's right, because when somebody threw red paint on his Black Lives Matter mural, he made sure to get this fixed in 24 hours. This was his priority. And he went on tweeting about it to let you know, hey, you're not gonna strike me down. Look, I'm all over this and we took care of it. Listen, Bill, that's not what the people that are affected by police shootings are concerned of. Morals in the murals in the street. What they're concerned about is putting forth policy that actually will help them. Because right now, you are not protecting anybody, okay? Because you have black leaders in communities where people are getting shot in record numbers saying, hey, listen, get the crime units back on our streets. We didn't ask for this, okay? White people started screaming to fund the police. Politicians started screaming to fund the police. All we wanted to do is have the police stop mistreating us. Because right now, now we have a crime problem in our streets where kids are getting killed in the streets. This week, a one-year-old was killed in the street. Six-year-old. Every day, there's a new reporting of someone getting shot in the street. Well, if you live in one of these communities, apparently what you need to do, paint Black Lives Matter on every street in your neighborhood, and if the next person that gets shot bleeds all over it, oh, Bill de Blasio will get off his ass and he'll get there to fix it right away. Now listen, I don't want to be sarcastic over something this important, okay? But this is where we are with this mayor, okay? He is all about the optics. Even when it comes to coronavirus, He's telling everyone, listen, we can't have any gatherings in the street. We're going to cancel the Puerto Rican Day Parade, West Indy Day Parade, Pride Celebration. We're going to cancel the San Gennaro Festival. We're going to cancel all street fairs. That's right. We can't have public gatherings because it's dangerous unless it's for Black Lives Matter because, you know what, the coronavirus doesn't... Look, and this is not about Black Lives Matter, so don't come at me with that. Either coronavirus is real and it's dangerous or it's not. Either we have to social distance or we don't. But if we're going to allow people to gather, you can't cherry pick 
which constitutional issues are the most important, okay? Because, you know what? Pride is important. It is important for Puerto Ricans to celebrate their heritage. It's important for Italians to gather in San Gennaro. And so it's important for everyone to be able to gather together for different reasons. But if you're not going to do that, all you are doing is creating more division. Okay, look, Bill, you need to bring us together, and you're not doing that right now. You know why? Because all you know how to do is point that finger at someone else. Well, the more you point that finger at somebody else, you know what you might as well point it at? You might as well point it at these people that are leaving your city in record numbers. That's who you should be pointing at, and then maybe it'll finally make sense to you.